Good evening, brothers and sisters. So, I have to uh, speak this prophetic word that I received yesterday. I do believe that the Holy Spirit gave me confirmation in more than one way. And um, so, recently, probably a week or so ago, the Holy Spirit gave me a word um, and he said, deep state. And I am not a political person. I don't um, watch the news or read the paper. So I was praying about it. And actually, initially, I thought that the Holy Spirit was speaking about a deep state of sleep because uh, the word before that he had given me was um, spiritually inclined. However, I found out it has a double meaning. I do truly believe that the Holy Spirit was also speaking about a spiritual state that a lot of people are in, um, that they are asleep spiritually. So I do, I do believe in the double meaning because he has told me before, wake them out of their miry sleep. So I want to mention that and I want to mention um, when I googled uh, deep state in dictionary.com, it says the deep state is believed to be a clandestine network entrenched inside the government, bureaucracy, intelligence agencies, and other governmental entities. The deep state supposedly controls state policy behind the scenes while the gen democratically elected process and elected officials are merely figureheads. Okay. So when the Holy Spirit gave me that, like I said, I, um, I prayed about it further. And I do uh, follow a gentleman that's a, uh, I believe he's a retired lieutenant colonel in the military, U United States military. And um, his name is Roy Potter. Well, right after I received that word, deep state, I clicked on YouTube and guess what came up? His video. And he was talking about the deep state. So I felt like that was confirmation. And like I said, I don't, I'm not a political person. I do not follow um the news at all or read the paper I don't watch TV um, you know things I just don't watch the news um, another word that the Holy Spirit put upon my heart was coup and um, so I had to Google search that um, and it is a chief operating officer also called the chief operations officer is one of the highest ranking executive positions in an organization comprising uh, that part of the organization and that was I found that in Wikipedia so I believe that um, that there's possibly also military related to that and the reason I'm telling you these things is sometimes the Holy Spirit will just drop uh, a word or two into my spirit and then um, I have to you know he, he kind of leads me that way um, but he always leads me to confirmation for these things so what I'm getting at, the word I wanted to speak is a warning. And um, I've done other videos on Russia. Um, I do believe that they will attack the United States. Um, I'm going to put the links from my prior videos under this video. So yesterday I was um, kind of heading out the door um, for some events for my, uh, uh, my boys. But... Um, I heard the Holy Spirit say after prayer, he said, Russia is planning an attack against your country. Okay. And then um, I had a busy day yesterday when I got home. I was praying again. And I heard the Holy Spirit say, batten down the hatches. Okay. And that is, I had to Google it. I remember, I remembered hearing batten down the hatches before, but it is of nautical nature. Um, and it is basically like secure a ship's hatch uh, tarpaulins, especially when rough weather is expected, or prepare for a difficulty or crisis. Okay, and um, then I prayed again about it because I always like to pray and discern and test the spirits. I prayed this morning and the Holy Spirit said war is about power, pride, and ego. And I had a vision, and there were three missiles coming out of a place, and the Holy Spirit said, the Great North. Um, I heard that in my spirit. 
and um, I do believe that he was speaking about Russia because of the prior um, words and visions I've had about this. So I was being shown this vision from a distance and three missiles went off and they went up and then they started to arch a little and they went out in different directions. And I heard in my spirit, Tel Aviv, Paris, France, and the UK. And um, so I prayed all day about this and um, I definitely wanted to um, confirm this word um, because the Bible says test the spirits. I called a friend of mine and she had been praying for a prophetic couple. I believe the lady has a channel on here um, and she had the word for them fire in the hole and abandoned ship. And these are all nautical uh, descriptions or nautical terminology. And uh, fire in the hull, uh, the hull is the main body of a ship. And, all, and the verb part of the word actually means to hit or pierce uh, the hull, H-U-L-L, -L, uh, with a shell or a missile. So I, I Google searched that when she said that. Even though she was giving confirmation um, for a private word for somebody, she prayed about it and felt like it could also have a double meaning. So, um, I wanted to share that with you. Also, a while ago, I had done a video about um, fire falling from the sky, which the Lord did uh, lead me to the book of Revelation today. And... Uh, and there are there is scripture in there about that, but he also confirmed with me that fire falling from the sky could mean missiles. So I always um, pray a lot and uh, try to get confirmation before I speak a word. But I will definitely um, add in the description links and. Um, sorry, I, I wanted to add something to this, so. Um, for years now, the Holy Spirit has been telling me um, a shaking is coming and to prepare. And he said, a great shaking is coming and prepare and then an awakening and then revival. This is what he's told me so many times. Um, so I prayed about that this morning and he said it. Uh, the Holy Spirit spoke and said, the great shaking is coming. And I said, um, how soon, Lord? And um, he said, very soon. And I asked and prayed uh, what to do. And he said, prepare to possibly be displaced. And remember, brothers and sisters, that um, his timing is not our timing. And trust in Jesus. That's one thing that he said to me more than once in prayer this morning, to trust him. And to stand on the promises, his promises, Jesus' promises. Um, the other thing about um, a lot of Christians are being spiritually attacked right now. And the Holy Spirit put upon my heart that the enemy is taking his final blows upon God's children. And right now, God doesn't want us, uh, Jesus put upon my heart through the Holy Spirit that um, he doesn't want us divided. He wants us all to be praying together. So I pray that this um, encourages somebody to pray and ask the Holy Spirit for your own discernment. I always ask um, for everyone to pray and to ask the Holy Spirit to lead and guide them. And um, he will give you confirmation. Okay. God bless you all. Um, keep our country in prayer and our president. It doesn't matter whether you... Um, voted for him or not we need to keep him in prayer him and his family so pray for everyone pray for your brothers and sisters and i always pray for mer for mercy that god grant us mercy god bless you all